All right, so to make things a little bit more interesting, we're going to create another program. So this time we're going to create a program that will accept the radius of a circle and then calculate and display the circles, circumference, area, and diameter. All right, so let's create a new project. All right, let me just close this for just to get some space here. All right, let me just bring this up. All right, so again, we're creating a new project. You can say file and go to new Java project. All right, so this time around, I'm going to name this project circle. All right, very or original. It names and tell us what the what the the program is all about. All right, so circle. All right, my spelling looks correct. No. If I wanted, I could change the default file location. So if I want to change the default file location, I'll just uncheck use default location. And then I could browse and I could create a new folder. And I could create a folder called Java uh, program, all right? And then inside this folder, I could create another folder and I could call this one circle. All right. So I select the circle. So if you realize now, it's not being saved in the default location anymore. It's being saved exactly where I want to save it on my drive. All right. So I'm going to click next. And as usual, I don't want to create the module in for that Java file. So I'm going to uncheck that and then click finish. All right. So similarly, I want to add a class to my circles project. So I'm going to right click or I don't even have to right click. I can just, as long as I click on circle, the circle um, project, I can go to the new icon right here. Click the drop down arrow beside that and then go to class. All right, so again, I'm going to give my package a name. I'm just going to call it circle. Now you can call your package, whatever you want to call it. So I'm calling it circle. I'm going to call my, give the class the name circle class all right again i want to use the method public static void main so i'm going to check that and everything else seems to be okay i'm going to click finish all right now because we're going to accept user input we need to import the java scanner class so that is very simple so below my package name, I'm going to import the Java scanner class. So we're just going to type import, and this is now um, basically a built-in class from Java, all right? Or the Java API, as some persons want to refer to it as. So I'm going to, I need to import this class. So it's import Java that util and you realize when i click the, the enter it gives me import java that util that asterisk and the asterisk means that it is importing everything from the util package all right so it's importing every class from the util package but just for now i want to be specific so i'm going to type scanner all right so I'm importing the scanner class. All right, so we're dealing with mathematical um, calculation, finding circumference, diameter, and area of a circle. So I'm also going to import the math package. All right, so I'm going to say import, or the math API. So import Java dot long that math all right now because i can use basically 
any one of the classes from the math package I'm going to say asterisk asterisk is for all all right so we're working with those two we're working with these two imported um, packages and their corresponding classes all right so next up we're now going to get into typing our actual code all right so i'll do away with this i don't need this right so we'll get rid of that all right so let's create some variables create some identifiers so i'm going to make these double because i'll be working with pi and pi as a double figure so i'm going to say double radius Always enter a semicolon. Um, double circumference. So these are just variable names or identifiers. Area and diameter. Alright, so I declare all three on the same line. That's perfectly fine. Alright, now I want to tell my I want to tell Java that I want to know use the scanner class. Right? So what I'll do is I'll create an object for the scanner class. Right? And this is why Java is considered to be um, big on object oriented programming. Alright? So I'm going to say scanner because that's the name of the class I'm going to create an object so I'm going to give this object the name input I'm going to say equal new scanner alright so I want to basically show that the input object will be used for system input or accepting input from the keyboard so I'm going to say system dot in sorry in all right again semicolon now the s right here is uppercase all right if you put a lowercase then you'll get an error all right so let's now just ask the user to enter the radius so the program will ask the user to enter a radius and then use that said radius to calculate the circumference area and the diameter so we're going to say system dot out dot print All right, so let's just type a message here saying enter radius. All right, so below this now we want to show where we are accepting the radius. So we're going to read the radius into the program. So radius equal input, which input again is the name of the object that we created right here all right so wherever we see input it now represents the scanner class and remember the scanner class is used to accept anything that is typed at the keyboard all right so because we're dealing with double now we have to say input dot next double all right and then open close all right. All right. So we will display a message to the user, asking them to enter the radius. Once they enter that radius, then it will be stored in this variable right here called radius. All right. And the input that next double uh, method, built-in method, is basically allowing us to store whatever is entered into this radius variable all right so let's do some calculation all right so we all know to find area we basically use pi 
times radius square. And remember, we had imported the math API. All right. So we're going to use that now. So I'm going to say area is equal to math dot pi. And we're going to multiply that by the square root. Sorry, not the square root, but the square of radius. So I'm going to use math dot po. I'm going to take the radius. Then I'm going to raise it to a power of 2. All right. So that's it for our calculation of the area. Next, I'm going to calculate the diameter. And this is equal to 2 times the radius. All right. And then next, we'll calculate the circumference. The circumference is equal to 2 times pi. Times the radius. All right. Or for the math geniuses amongst us, you know this this could be written as um, pi times the diameter. All right, but this is not a math class, even though math is very important uh, when it comes on to programming. All right. So all we need to do now is just to display the results of our calculation. So I'm going to say system dot out dot print l n open and close all right so i want to say area is and then we want to no concatenate this string with whatever is stored in the variable so i'm going to say all right, let me display the diameter first All right, semicolon. Now you realize here I use print ln and up here I use print. The print ln will just push the cursor to a new line. All right. Now don't copy and paste your code unless you know exactly what you are copy and pasting. All right. All right, so let me see. System dot out dot print ln. Alright, so I want to display the diameter this time around. So let's say diameter is. And I'm going to join whatever is in the variable to this. So I want to join whatever is in the diameter, sorry, not the diameter. Oh boy. All right, so I mistyped some stuff here. What I actually want here is the, so I want to put area right here, not diameter. That would be a misleading message to the user, um, which would lead to some um, semantic problems with your, with, your, with your program solution. This is where I want to put the diameter. All right, and then I want to display the circumference. So it's print Ellen um, circumference is. Then we want to concatenate whatever is in the circumference variable. Circumference. Alright. 
so everything looks well all right so we are displaying era is whatever is being stored in the era variable all right in this line we are displaying the diameter so diameter is whatever is stored in the diameter variable and on line 24 we are displaying circumference is and whatever is being stored in the circumference variable. So we'll just hit the enter, sorry, the run option. Again, I can always, I can click this checkbox right here that says always save resources before launching, but I'll just leave it unchecked. That's just me. Okay. So if you notice here now it's asking us to enter the radius so let me enter 15 as the radius press the enter key on my keyboard it tells me that the area is 706.8583 so on and so forth it tells me that my diameter is 30.0 and my circumference is 94 point two four seven seven so on all right so basically that is how you create a program in eclipse well to be more specific or you create your java program in eclipse all right so i'll say rewatch the video if you have to and just go through creating your first and your second program and you can even try other programming problems that you might come across Alright, so until next time, do some programming and enjoy your Java as much as possible.